If you've been waiting on OpenAI to release a Windows version of the ChatGPT desktop app, then you're in luck because they announced it on Twitter today that they have released an early version for Plus, Team, Enterprise, and Education users, and they've made it available for download in the Microsoft Store, and you can go there right now and download it and try it yourself. Real quickly, you just go to the openai.com slash chatgpt slash download page, right here on your screen you can see it and you can see the url up there at the top and you navigate down here to test an early version of the windows app so you click on that it takes you to this page right here and then you just download the app to your computer and install it like you would any other software application so let's do that right now Okay, it looks like it's a quick download, won't take much time on a broadband connection, and we're about to be in business. So far, it looks a lot like the web page version, but in app form. So we're going to log in, and it looks just like a normal version of ChatGPT from my web browser. I don't notice any voice capability, though, but perhaps they will make that available in due time. So we'll just take a stab and we'll enter in a prompt that says, hello, I see that you are now running in Windows 11 as an early preview option for Plus subscribers. Tell me what you can do. Okay, it seems like it can do all of the normal stuff. There's a few user ratings here, so let's see what they have to say at the moment. It's good to see you in Windows. It looks like it's extremely convenient to use, supports images, what's not to love. Can't wait for OpenAI to add voice mode. Let's take a quick look at the features. You can use the Alt space on your keyboard to be a shortcut for faster access to ChatGPT. Obviously, by being a desktop app, it's going to be easier to access. It looks like we have the normal file uploads and photo updates and Dolly 3 capability. So in reality, it's a lot of what you already get on the web now, except it's a desktop app. So let's try the alt space bar and see what happens. Oh, there it is. Pop right on up. It seems like that's all there really is to showcase at this point, but I'm very happy that we finally have it on Windows. That means that they're going to be able to build in more of the advanced features over time. And again, there's nowhere to go but up. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.